So folks, good morning. There's a lot happening here. Uh, liking my new fencing. I'll find something to do with that. It is supposed to have been raining by now. We are supposed to get four days of steady rain for the most part. Some days it's not going to be steady, but it's still going to be cloudy, a little bit cool. So we're not going to stop it, so we might as well prepare for it, which is what I did with the, the little bird nest, the little mating pen area. So, folks, I'm really not, well, I'm understanding since that, since that YouTube removed my video, I appealed and I, I lost, I lost the appeal. So I understand now why channels do not go into the, the nitty gritty and the, the bad parts about raising animals because YouTube won't allow you to do that. So, so I get it. So this was a lesson for me. Am I, am I discouraged? I, I'm a little perturbed because they, they use the word gentle. So life isn't gentle folks. Life is not gentle. Uh, birds are birds are birds. They're going to do what birds do. Birds are animals and even humans, humans that they show fights. They show the riots. They, they show all this ugly, ugly stuff on YouTube, but you show something that may help someone thinking about getting birds. Listen, here's the, here's the fluff, but also here, here's also what you need to deal with. So you're going to have to plan. You're going to have to learn what to do and what not to do. Like, like that male goose, he, by me being patient with that goose and showing it that I am not a threat and standing my ground, not running from it, just, just being a goose owner, that goose, well, for, for right now, has come around. It hasn't hissed at me the whole time I was, I was in the pen earlier. So it's stuff like that, that new owners to birds really need to know about time the first the first time the goose hissed at certain people the goose would be no more right and they don't they may not understand that that is just a goose being a goose and it could be a false charge or it could be a legit right you get pinched so knowing birds reading about birds and their behaviors and someone that is not biased, someone that's going to be honest with you about birds and what to do in certain situations is very beneficial for those new homesteaders, folks that think they might get a, a breed of, of chicken or duck or whatever. They need to know that before they get into it, folks, because you all know that you can look up one particular thing and there's a million different opinions out there and they're giving their opinion for what works for them. Some people just blow smoke out of their ass, right? They do, folks. But what works for one person may not work for another person and one what may work one day here may not work at the end of the day here, right? So that's where, I don't know, folks. I don't know. They, they talk about being gentle. Gentle. Well, I can tell you right now, there's some videos that have popped up on onto my YouTube. Every, well, when I get on the app, that are so nasty, folks. They're, they're might as well be naked. And they're talking very seductively and... That seems to be okay, but you talk about something that might help someone. Well, uh, anyway, I'm not going to, whoops, I, I'm not going to get into that. So I've got a lot to do before the rain. Uh, 
Eddie who brought this, all this fence in, folks. Uh, you can't even imagine how how excited I am to get that fencing. Uh, we we talked. He he talked about the importance of growing your own food, raising your own meat. He's big into birds. He's he's done he's done pigs. He's not raising the pigs this year, though. He said. So we 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 throw ideas out. And we learn from each other or we problem solve together and we we're both under the under the same agreement that buying meat in the store, it doesn't if you raise your own meat and then you go to the store and buy like beef or chicken or turkey, if you're used to what the meat looks like from your yard that you raised and then you go to a store and you you buy the same thing at the store. It doesn't look the same, folks. It does not taste the same. You don't know how it was handled, especially the burger. He was showing me that it used to be that burger came from one cow. Now there's hundreds or thousands of scrap meat from all all these cows going in mixed into the same burger, and then so for one hamburger you could be getting hundreds or thousands of bacteria from all these cows. So how do you trace that? If one person gets sick off a hamburger, how do you trace that back to all those cows? How do you do that? I, I can't imagine it would be easy, even if it could be done. So, but anyway, it is getting quite cool. It was sunny out. Now it's cloudy. I've got a lot to do today, uh, and I'm going to end up doing it in the rain, which is okay. I've got... I've got a few rain jackets. I've got, I think, three of these. Same color, same size, same everything. And then I've got a nice heavy one, which I wore in another video here not too long ago. And I, I've got a, a yellow one, right? So I'm prepared for the weather. I, I, I've got new boots, folks. I've got two pair of new boots. So... You'll probably see them here, there, and everywhere, but they're kind of paisley designed, and they're blue, and they don't leak, right? That's the most important part. They don't leak. So, anyway, y'all be good. Thank you for being here, and if y'all will still hang with me through talking in, talking in code and me not showing certain things on my my channel because I don't want to get my hand slapped and we can all get through this together and I'll still try to be a little bit educational on what I'm doing and what I have found works and what I have found does it for me here and we'll just keep on plugging on folks so y'all be good thank you bye-bye